Hey guys, it's Keith from Free Marketing Help. If you're finding it hard to get customers back in your door, here's something that will put you back in front of them. We're surrounded by data, right? We freely give up that data anytime we sign up for something or buy online or join a blog or a group. And all this data gets collected and sorted into different buckets. Here's a way to take that data and help do three things for you. One, target and identify your previous customers that were at your location, maybe pre-pandemic, back as far back as January 2019. Number two, it can capture data from a past real world event from a specific time frame. And number three, it can put your message in front of these customers. And if they walk into your business, if you have a brick and mortar location, we can actually track it. So I'm gonna explain how we do that a little bit. Let's say for example, Jay's Fishing Lures, usually at this time of the year is at the Pennsylvania Farm Show for the Great American Outdoor Show. It's the world's largest outdoor show. And Jay does the majority of his business for the entire season at that one event during those that two week period. Um, but as you can imagine, when Jay found out that the Great American Outdoor Show was canceled this year due to COVID as, as were many events because of COVID, um, he's a little worried about how he's going to make up that income by not having this show. So we're going to talk about how you can use local look back and um, historical geofencing data to actually find your audience. So Jay goes to the farm show every year for the Great American Outdoor Show. So say, for instance, he wanted to look back in time because 2019 was a great year. There were so many people there. He had so many contacts. Um, we can literally go back in time and look at the data from a time period of February 2nd to February 10th, 2019. And we can put an invisible fence around the farm show building. And any smartphone device that goes inside that geofence zone or inside the farm show building during that time period we can capture that data and compile it to a list and call it target uh, customers at this point right so imagine having that list for any of the vendors at the farm show that would be a great resource to be able to put your message in front of right well now we have the targeted list now we can reach that customer on websites that they're already going to on Facebook apps that they're already using, on devices that they already use, whether it's a display ad or Facebook ads or local video ads. Blended OTT is just a combination of local video ads or OTT or over the top devices. That's just smart connected TV devices like Roku or Apple TV or YouTube TV. The devices that are connected to the inner tube and allow you to stream stations. You can schedule um, OTT commercials on stations like that. The downside of pure OTT though, is that you have no interaction with it. You can't click on it on the screen because you're, you're watching it. Um, we like to do a blended technique because a lot of times when somebody sees an ad like that, that they're interested in, they'll just pause it and then pull up their phone or their laptop or tablet and research it that way and get to you that way. So um, once we have a target list, we can put your message in front of them. Again, they don't have to go to a specific website to see your ad. They're, these are websites that they're normally browsing. I'm sure if you look through a browser on your phone, you're gonna get to an area and you're gonna know, hey, that's, that's an ad right there. And as you're scrolling through, there's another ad. Well, these ad placement spots are where we're able to put your ad for Jay's Fishing Lures in front of this target customer list that we have. So it doesn't matter what your business is or who your target customer is. There's people that you can target, whether they were previous customers that were in your business that you know, now due to the pandemic, more people are working from home. Not as many people are out. People are social distancing um, and not coming around as much. So you want to put your business in front of them and remind them that, hey, you know, we're still open. We can still service you. We can still provide for you. And, you know, maybe there's new ways that you're doing it. Maybe you're doing more shipping or drop off or pick up things rather than customer interactions. But it's ways for you to interact with clients who either were once in your store or clients that you would like to get in your store. Um, you can also geofence your competitors' locations for a specific time frame. Again, as far back as January 
2019. So um, think about ideas like that. If you're one of the people that are finding it hard to get customers back in your door and you're looking for help, feel free to send me an email and I'm happy to schedule a 20 minute Zoom call with you and we can talk about your specific marketing needs and see if there's a way we can help you out.